This is the whole list of video files Enzo was watching. Can you play that one? Why was Enzo watching that? You see the right guard? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. What are you talking about? Let's see that again. The normally sure-footed right guard looks like he slips on the turf. Uh, and there goes hard-charging Deron Martin flying in at full speed. Enzo is down. Ouch. Frost, play that clip from Saturday's game. I think we just figured out what got Enzo killed. What did you see? I'd like to know what got Enzo killed. Both BCU right guards, who played five years apart, faked the same trip on the same play. To make sure their running back got tackled and didn't score. This is like the day I took that AP calculus exam. You know, I couldn't have solved that inverse derivative problem if my life depended on it. I... Calm down. Calm down, okay? For once, I get to explain something to you. Frost, can you freeze both bad plays? That right guard and at least one other player, probably the quarterback, fixed that game in 2007. Okay, and that right guard fixed the same play five years later. Are you saying BCU players from two separate seasons threw games? Altered games, it's too easy to get caught if you throw them. But if you just shave points. Frost, can we see both quarterbacks? Yeah, right there. Both quarterbacks made identical signals. That says to me we're throwing the play. Watch their eyes right before they tap their helmets. Yeah, you're right. We have a shot caller. Who are they looking at? Frost, you have any other angles? So Enzo must have realized the trip that ended his career wasn't accidental. Yeah, but why would the right guard fake a trip? Enzo was his teammate. The players who were cheating weren't trying to hurt him. They were just trying to keep him from scoring. To change the over-under. That's what this is about. Of course. What? Over-under what? <laughs> Over-under is a type of bet. Odds makers announce a number before a game. It's their best guess of what the final combined score will be. And I can bet over or under that number? Yes. Okay, I think I understand. So if the team scores, when added together, are lower than predicted, I win. Yes. And if you know that there are dirty players that are fixing the game to keep the score down, you bet on the under. And then you win big. Yeah, but why would a college player cheat, especially at a, a prestigious academic university? Well, BCU is a Division III football program. There's no money, no scholarships. They're having a car wash fundraiser to buy equipment. Got another angle. Sideline camera. Coach Phillips is a shot caller. I don't think so. Play it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, play both the 2007 game and Saturday's game. Watch McKenzie. You see that? He dropped the towel both times. Uh, the results are back on the substance found in Enzo's wounds. It's analgesic heat rub, and the fibers I found were from cotton sports tape. Wow. So the murder weapon had a hilt? Could it be a multi-purpose tool like this one? Yes. Was that Enzo's phone? Okay, you don't get credit for fixing it. Give it to me. No, I can look at cell phones too. Give it to me and let me plug it in. Thank you. Here's his last text message to Dan McKenzie, 7.54 a.m. Right before he went to the car wash. Need to talk, I hope I'm crazy. I think coach has BCU players shaving points. He thought his coach was dirty. I hope I'm crazy. He didn't want to accuse the program he loved unless he was sure he was right. So he went to the person he trusted the most, his former teammate, Dan McKenzie. 